Rainworld is astonishingly good-looking and absurdly cruel, a 2D action platformer that thrills almost as often as it makes you throw down the controller in despair. Almost. Guiding an amazingly cute slug cat, your travels across an obtuse, ruined world combine elements of stealth, survival, and even shoot em up to great effect. But the structure of the game itself works against its sometimes brilliant moment-to-moment -moment play. The first thing you'll notice, though, is how good it looks. Slug Cat and his predators move incredibly, using pixel art and procedural animation to make actions and reactions that I've never seen from a 2D game before. The environment is no slouch either, with single-screen areas both drawn and lit to an almost unnecessary level of detail. It is, without doubt, one of the best-looking 2D games I've ever played. The game itself is a mixture of survival and reconnaissance. You eat food, hibernate to save your map discoveries, then head out to find and eat more. There's no stated goal beyond that, and mechanics are just as obtuse, meaning you're forced to learn how enemies move, what edible plants do, and what debris you can use as weaponry it's progressing that causes problems. Moving to a new region requires you to hibernate several times without dying, but food and enemy locations are somewhat random, meaning that can become a chore. Exploring too long without hibernating leads to deadly rainstorms. Even if you do make it to a new area, if you don't reach a save point and die, you're cast back to where you started, forced to hibernate again just to get through. I'm sure a few will find that multiplying cruelty fun, but for a game that makes exploration its reward, having to trudge through the same area a dozen times isn't just a grind, it's boring. Couple that with some imprecision about how Slug Cat and enemies move, and it's sometimes not even the player's fault that they've failed. Rainworld is a maddening thing because of quite how special it could have been. Beautiful environments, incredible animations, and enticingly hazy mechanics are fantastic, but the sheer cruelty of how it's paced out transcends challenge and becomes an unwanted trial.